It is a crime using art as its weapon, tagging, often the mark of gangs or misguided teenagers, and it can cost thousands of dollars in damage, according to the Yuma Police Department, but they have an anti-graffiti strategy. It's an anti-graffiti program developed by the city of Yuma in 2010. The program is called TAGS with the goal of an overall reduction and immediate removal of graffiti with increased enforcement, and YPD says that it has been very effective. Uh, the numbers have uh, gone down consistently uh, since the inception of TAGS, and I believe those numbers will continue to go down. Between 2011 and 2012, there were almost 2,600 cases of tagging, and just last year that number fell by almost 800 cases. Since the program started, they have been able to arrest 125 taggers. YPD says in most cases, they can remove graffiti within 24 hours. Parks and Rec's crew, they go out, and it depends on the surface. Sometimes it's simply uh, wiping it off. Other times, it requires just painting over. They can't remove it. Here's video before and after graffiti has been cleaned up. Defacing someone else's property is a crime, but many taggers consider what they do an art form. One local church is giving them a legal way to express themselves. Vertical Church in Yuma has a wall where they allow people to tag freely and legally. So we're trying to make a place where they can do that legally without getting in trouble, without vandalizing people's property. We, we don't want that. We want to help the community.